Yeah, so I was invited to be on the panel. I was very delighted. I initially thought I will just go in just before the panel, do this bit and then get out. I'm glad I didn't. I came in quite early and I was delighted by the energy and the enthusiasm that I saw at the event. And so uh, I think it bodes well for uh, Converge, the event, as well as the people involved that there's so much energy around technology and its application. Delighted to be here. Uh, so I would uh, look at uh, augmented reality with a lot more focus on the audio aspect of it, not just focus on the graphics, which is obsessively uh, looked at by many people. Audio, especially spatial audio on standard smartphones is now a commodity and is available with just a real headphone, standard headphone. And you can provide so much immersive audio experiences, which goes across population, people with vision impairment, older people, people who cannot read, people who cannot read English can be given that information in their language in situ. You are being in the real world, but you're augmented with audio information. If you want, you can also add video on a smartphone. You don't have to put head mounted display. So get rid of this head mounted display as being critical for AR. Everyday smartphone with that graphics is good enough, along with audio and all the sensors that are built in are going to allow you to localize yourself in any place sense your movement, have cameras if you want to capture the world to augment it further and a headphone to give you continuous audio information so that you don't trip over yourself walking in the real world looking at some video. So there is enough opportunity for AR for years to come and it's just been touched at the surface. Okay, All the best. <laughs>